Our veterans and first responders are the backbone of our country. You know, they're a special breed, and um, there's something built inside of them, this, this need to protect and serve. And um, even though sometimes they retire, even if they're still active duty, you know, that, that resides in them. And, you know, here at Mission Believe, we, we have a way to purpose that and to create a, a way to navigate that energy in a meaningful way. You go from serving the country and protecting the country to now feeding the country. So there's that purpose reinstated to you once again. My son just loved beekeeping and um, I wanted to keep bees and I thought he was crazy. This is going through high school and stuff. And I was like, no, you're crazy. We can't get bees in our little tiny backyard. And um, I was going through some really pretty dark stuff and um, Life was hard, and you know, waking up every day was really hard. I had that weight, and it just, I, I didn't have a purpose. There was, I didn't feel like I had a meaning. And we started the class and I was hooked. Suddenly I, I kind of just noticed that my focus had changed. You know, I was waking up every day just thinking about my bees, what I can do next, and what I could learn next. And I don't know, that weight was just gone. You know, and I, I felt alive again. Um, a lot of times when we're working in the apiary, we need our, our smokers to stay lit for quite some time. So I just start like a little pit fire going on in there. And I really feel like my honeybee saved my life, saved my family. And so, I wanted to repurpose that energy. And talking with Tristan, you know, we just decided like this, we had worked with veterans in the past and we just decided that this was our avenue that we really wanted to take. So a lot of people are affected, especially veterans and first responders from PTSD and TBI. And when you have those nightmares and those traumas that you're carrying with you, beekeeping will definitely take those distractions from you because you're gonna be thinking about it at first. It's gonna be something that's weighing upon you. Just the smell, the sound, the hum is very calming. And when you're thinking about them and you have all of that going on around you, it's just very settling. And then, and that's really, is just redirecting all of that negative energy that's impacting them into something positive because now their focus is gonna be on something else. And, um, and I think that's really how impactful beekeeping is. I think that our veterans, that's what they're missing, especially when they leave the service, is that they don't have that purpose anymore. They don't have a place to connect, and, um, and they need that. They need to have a place to channel, channel their energy. You know, when they don't, when it's just the everydays of life and home and family, it's not what they're used to. They're used to have a regiment. They know what they need to do every single day. Everyday life changes. Things are thrown at them in every direction, and it's really hard for them to channel that energy. So when you go into your apiary and you're working those bees, you learn how to channel your energy into your bees. We are a veterans and first responder foundation. We are currently recruiting veterans and first responders to provide them with a complete educational beekeeping experience. So it's, it's an organization that's designed to help veterans and first responders, um, you know, be, be beekeepers if that's what we want to be, even if it's just a hobby or, or learn about it, right? Um, and, and, it's, and it's an organization, you know, specifically for them, right? So um, a, lot, a lot of organizations say that they're for veterans and first responders, you know, but, you know, only small proceeds of anything actually go to helping. This is actually designed and set up to where the first, veterans and first responders are the ones here, like, digging in the hives, right? So it's, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's what it is. So, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. We hold small workshops and provide them educational classes as well, and that's the day-to-day -day work that we provide them. We teach about um, honey production. Food woodworking, building your equipment, painting the boxes, soap making, and all other products of the hive as well. We really create those those bonds, those lasting relationships that you didn't expect to be able to create. 
What happens is when you work together, you start to build a relationship and a bond that most people are envious of. It doesn't matter where you come from, what walk of life, it doesn't matter what you look like, what you're going through. If you want to talk bees, you've got a friend. And it's absolutely amazing because the beekeeping community that is surrounding us has done nothing but support Mission Believe in every way possible that they could. Signing up as mentors, donating to the program, it's just absolutely amazing.